Matthew with Soji Chef again, um, doing a recipe for Uncle Freddy on our YouTube channel. Um, it's uh, going to be guacamole. So guacamole is roughly uh, 10,000 years old. It was cultivated, cultivated uh, and made into a recipe by the Aztecs. And what they would do is take avocado, put it in a mortar and pestle, grind it up with uh, sea salt, and use it as a dip. I'm going to show you. Uh, ways of picking an avocado and uh, how, in, how to turn it into a good guacamole. So uh, picking an avocado, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to a grocery store, you're going to find a lot of different avocados, they're going to be light greens, dark greens, uh, even some purple and, and uh, darker colors. What I usually do is go to the grocery store and look for avocados that are a little bit darker in color, not so green, uh, firm to the touch, and got a little bit of softness to them, and uh, um, use those ones as per uh, using the harder ones. Also, don't pick up the, the super mushy ones because they'll probably be black inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these avocados now, and I'm gonna show you how to take out the stone. Now, a lot of people will show you, or Quite a few people will show you online uh, how to take the stone out and they're showing you incorrectly. And I have uh, actually a good proof that their math methods don't work. When I was uh, 19, I was working in the culinary field and decided I would take a stone out of a half avocado like that and it slipped and went straight into my hand. Um, so I learned a very quick lesson there of how to take out an avocado stone. My advice to you guys would be to cut down in half the avocado like so, twist it, and then there's the stone. Get the heel of the knife, so the heel right here, put the heel into the avocado and twist, and it comes out perfectly easy. So I have another little cheat for you as well. Uh, instead of having to take the skin off of the avocado and then mush it, you can either mush it through the um, mortar and pestle or, um, or with a fork. I actually have a cheat, which I use in the restaurants, is a lot easier. So that took a little bit of time to do that one. This way, what you do is you get a wire rack over a, uh, a bowl, put your avocado on there like that, and push it through. Like that, you get all of the meat off, None of the skin in there, and it goes through pretty easy. All right, so I'll do that with all my avocados. Avocados are a good source uh, of nutrients. They're also a superfood, which means you know you can basically use them in, in everything, and they're highly, uh, highly good for you. And just take that stone out again, see how easy it comes out. And put it back in there, push it through, just pull it off. And that's your avocado done. So what I'm gonna do is scan over here to my my left and show you the recipe that we're using. We're using avocados, two large avocados, onion, a medium onion, quarter it, dice it, chop the cilantro, dice tomatoes, use one diced tomato and just dice it, lime juice, uh, sea salt, preferably sea salt, because it's uh, a nicer grind, it's, it's a better salt, and fresh ground pepper, definitely fresh ground pepper, um, that gives you a better flavor, the fresher it is, the better it is. All right, so we're gonna move on now, and we're going to chop up our tomato. We are looking at basically ripening these avocados. A couple of ways to do it. First of all, put them on a countertop. Once you bought them, as soon as you, you buy your avocados, they start ripening um, off of the tree. So as soon as they're picked, they ripen off the tree. If you put them in the fridge, that prolongs the ripening process. If you leave them on a countertop, they will continue to ripen. And if you put them in a paper bag, 
roll down the paper bag like that, what happens is the avocado as it's ripening lets out gases and those gases get uh, contained in the, uh, the paper bag and it ripens uh, from three to four days. There are other wives tales out there and they're not proven but if you put a banana in with the avocado it speeds up the ripening process. I would think that would be the same reason with the gases and flour. Uh, flour has not been proven either. So moving on we are going to basically use one tomato. We're going to put in some lime juice. Lime juice is for both flavor and it will help the guacamole. Oh, I love that sound. Lots of juice coming out. But it will stop the avocado, as we all know, from uh, going black. Mm -mm -mm, the smell of limes. I love the smell of limes. Hear that? All that juice coming out. Hear that juicy juice. We're gonna add some cilantro, and this has already been washed. What I do is roll it up in a loose ball, and I wanna chop this one time, because the more you chop it, it's gonna bruise. So just gonna chop it super fine, one way. In there I'm gonna take our garlic skin it as I've shown you in previous uh, videos just push it down with the palm of your hand I'm gonna use one clove depends on the size of your cloves some are small some are big so you can always add more but you can't take it away so put it in there as needed. I just mince it up quickly. Now we take a quarter of an onion. I'm going to take the skin off real fast and dice it very small. Get it very fine. Put that in and put that that much in. Again, it depends on the size of the onion, how much you want to put. So a lot of this just can be done to, um, to taste. So if you need more in there, then just add more. Got my jalapeno going in. Jalapenos going in. And I've got fresh sea salt here with uh, garlic, a touch more garlic. And I'm using fresh because for me it tastes better. Freshy ground. Remember, we can always add more salt, but we can't take it away. So go, go a little sparing on it if you want more than you can. Fresh pepper, this is where it's at. Fresh pepper, quite a bit of fresh pepper. Love fresh pepper. I'm just gonna mix it in. I know as kids, we used to eat avocados. Um, in England, just uh, peel them and add a touch of sugar to them. And I think this is what sometimes guacamole misses is a touch of sugar. So if you want to, you can add sugar to it. But the good thing about that wire rack method as well is I'll let you home in a bit. You don't just get a puree, you get chunks. So there's nice little chunks in there and they're all even sizes. So you get a bit of the, uh, um, you get a bit of the crunch from the avocado as well. So we're going to taste it. 
for me, a bit more salt. And taste it again. And that's just about right. We're gonna get our little chip and dip. This is uh, obviously served very well with tortilla, corn tortilla chips. And if you can fry them yourself, that's even better because the fresher they are, the better they are. And really with guacamole, you want to make it straight away and serve it and eat it, which I'm sure my wife would love. I'm just going to put on a little bit of garnish. that and that's guacamole all right <clears throat> so we're going to try the guac on your chip the chips work really well with guacamole because you got your crunchy and you got the soft of the guacamole and it works very nice you can also do it with uh, root vegetables. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Live happy, stay healthy. <laughs> so, like and subscribe, live healthy and happy.